Hello everybody, my name is Nicholas Powers and I'm with Aero Electronics. In Bluetooth Low Energy applications, it is important to understand the physical layer in order to program a more robust transmission and optimize the data rate and hence current consumption or the amount of power used. BLE uses a GFSK modulation in the 2.4 GHz range. When transmitting data, Bluetooth Low Energy transmitted at 1 million bits per second and with 1 bit per symbol. To send a zero, a negative frequency deviation is used. To send a one, a positive frequency deviation is used. In order to avoid shifts, some regular transitions between the two values are required. This explains some of the characteristics of Bluetooth that you cannot integrate very long sequences of zeros or ones like in the access address, and why whitening is performed on the PDU and CRC field of the link layer. Bluetooth Low Energy works with 40 channels. Three of those are advertising channels and 37 are data channels. Advertising channels are used when a device needs to make itself available to other devices discoverable or broadcasting. And data channels are used when it's in a connection mode with another device. Each channel is two megahertz wide from 2402 megahertz to 2480 megahertz. The 2.4 gigahertz range is widely used by a lot of different things, Wi-Fi and others, so it's very noisy. So we need a lot of robustness in the BLE signal. Thus we have 36 data channels, 0 through 36, and the advertising channels are 37, 38, and 39. These advertising channels are placed outside of the range used by Wi-Fi and allows for the link layer to be robust, and so it can always be found. Now, if a radio transmits for a long time, it heats up and the extra circuitry necessary to make the radio and frequency stable become difficult. Three millisecond packets in Bluetooth Classic are long enough to cause issues. That's why when it was decided on Bluetooth version 4.1, the longest possible packets are 376 microseconds. The data rate is one megahertz or one bit every microsecond, so the longest packet is 376 bits. After each transmission, a gap of 150 microseconds is required. These constraints explain why there's no streaming in Bluetooth Low Energy, and they also calculate the maximum data rates of Bluetooth Low Energy. As we'll see in future lessons, this also explains why it is often a good choice to have a maximum data length of characteristics smaller than 20 bytes. Bluetooth Low Energy was designed to consume the lowest quantity of energy. One of the ways it reduces power consumption is to reduce the length and power of a transmission. A path loss is a measure of how much the radio signal has reduced in power between the antenna in the transmitter and the antenna in the receiver. For an isotropic antenna, an estimation can be calculated with the formula that path loss equals 40 plus 25 log d, where d is the distance in meters. A distance of 1.5 meters, for example, has a path loss of 50 decibels, and a distance of 40 meters has a path loss of 80 decibels. The required received sensitivity for Bluetooth low energy is negative 70 dBm or 0.1 nanowatts of the electromagnetic energy. The power level for transmission has a maximum programmable range from negative 20 dBm to plus 10 dBm. For short distances, the low power transmission is high enough, but for a standard distance of 15 meters, this corresponds to a path loss of around 70 dB. The maximum power transmission is recommended for these distances of 15 meters.